some of the Prime Minister's concerns there. So what is to be done? Well, joining us from central London is Daryl James. He was given a three-year prison sentence after being involved with a gang in Hackney. He now tries to lead young people away from violence in Westminster. Is Nick Wilkie, Chief Executive of London Youth. Uh, very good morning to you both. Daryl, I want to start with you first, because the Prime Minister mentioning gangs there, uh, a big problem, he said, in all this. I is that the way you read it? Yeah, massive problem. We've had it for a little while. And he promised us to fix our broken Britain, and it's not really panned out that way so I think now the whole world understands that we do have a massive gang problem throughout the, uh, the surrounding counties and in London in particular. Okay well uh, you said he promised to fix it I mean it's clearly no easy fix is it? No 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 far from it but you've got to start somewhere and I think the good place is to start now you know what I mean like the clamp down on gangs you've got to start now if you don't start now it's already run the, kind of, the country a mockery you know what I mean like Innocent people have been hurt, somebody's been killed. So I think it's about time we sort it out right now, this minute, today, not tomorrow. Call, like, call Parliament in there and make some measures where you can actually do something to make people feel safe. OK, well, let's uh, see if Nick Wilkie's following uh, along with that so far before we uh, move on to what some of those measures might be. Nick Wilkie, gangs at to the heart of this and gang culture, that lack of respect and responsibility the Prime Minister talked about. Look, of course, the fact that there are significant numbers of young people who decide to join criminal gangs is a part of this. But what we're seeing across London are very different things. I'd suggest that the arson in Croydon is very different from the almost recreational rioting and looting of Peckham and Brixton. It's different again from Tottenham. It's different again from the deeper, seemingly, anger of Hackney that spilt over into attacking private homes. We're a network of 400 youth organisations across the capital, and we're talking to young people and youth workers in every neighbourhood. These acts of violence are not one-dimensional, and I think at the current time they have multiple causes, and anybody who at the moment is suggesting they have clarity on what's happening and what is causing this and exactly what we need to do, I think is at best premature and at worst pushing a political agenda. I think this is a complex situation, but to answer your question, of course, I agree with Darrell that the issue of gangs is, is one aspect of this, but there are many different aspects to this problem. OK, well, one aspect, Darrell, uh, but is it the central one in your book? Um, not thoroughly. We've got a problem with youth in this country, a big problem with youth, not having enough to do so. Along with the gang culture influencing kids, you've got good kids next to bad kids. How do you tell the difference? How do you get a good kid away from a bad kid? What do, you, what do we do then? OK, we get past this point, what do we do in the future? Like, what's our future going to look like after today, next week? What are we going to do next month? What are we going to do next year with the Olympics? Like, this is something impending that we have to sort out now. So, as well as the short term flooding the streets with police, that is a short term. In the long term, what do we do with our youth in this country? And that's going to that's gonna be the, the outcome of what we do now. Well, give us an insight into what you've been doing, Daryl. Um, you know, to give, give us some kind of a pointer and, and, and what you were, you were attempting to do to, 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 to stop the violence in uh, Hackney on Sunday night. In Hackney, as far as I said, the kids on my estate were, were, were good as gold. They, they, they understood that if you burn down the shops in your area, you burn down your own home. You know, if you riot on the streets and you burn cars, you burn your neighbours' cars. This is what the kids in my area learned. Not, I, I can put my hand on my heart and say none of the kids in my area was involved in those riots. So, in our community, we make sure it's a close-knit community. We know the kids in our area, they know us, we the local shop members, we know everybody, we support ourselves. It's a very tight community where I come from, and I think we need to go back to the Britain where we could leave our doors open, where everybody knew everybody. Once you know everybody, you can't rob from somebody. How can you rob from somebody that you know? So therefore, criminals will be stamped out from a base of a community. And until we get our community family back in the values that we are British, which are British, which are thing, this is what we need to do. Until that time, now, we're going we're to have a fight because all these kids have parents. And until you get these parents to actually stand up and grab their kids off the street, we have major, major, major problems. So it needs to be sorted as a whole, as a society, as well as a community. Yeah, I mean, Nick Wilkie, I, I guess a lot of people go along with that, what Daryl's been saying there, that we need that, 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 that local, that community solution because of the, the bonds and the ties, and back to what the Prime Minister said, the, the responsibility that instills. But it has to be, as you were saying uh, in our first uh, discussion there, it has to be intelligent and it has to be tailored to the specific communities and their specific problems. It does. I mean, I think human nature is, is probably pretty similar a, across the country. The point I was making was that I think the outbreaks of violence that we've seen are, are different. I think there's a big difference between people getting involved in looting because they want a new pair of trainers from burning down someone's house. Those are different things. I, I agree with Darrell very much that 
the long-term solution to this lies with communities. And I think youth work is one important ingredient of that, along with housing, along with employment. But what good youth clubs are able to do is get alongside young people. There are youth clubs all over London that are still open today, and they're doing three things. They're supporting the 99% plus of young Londoners who are not criminal but who are frightened. They are getting actively involved in the clean-up process. Young volunteers from Dragon Hall last night and, and yesterday afternoon, sorry, in Enfield and Clapham getting involved in the clear-up. And good youth workers are getting alongside young people who have a choice to make, and they're helping those young people make the right choices. In the long run, community is a very major part of the answer to this problem. Yeah, well, listen, we must end there, but thank you both for your uh, calm thoughts in the midst of all this. Uh, Nick Wilkie and Daryl James there. And uh, this is Sky News on our website, skynews.com. Full coverage, including the latest picture galleries of the, the violence that has been plaguing England's cities. And coming up, a uh, pretty gloomy governor.